Wolf-Kishner reduction is used to replace the oxygen of a carbonyl with two hydrogens. In the reaction, hydrazine is added to the carbonyl via nucleophilic addition. The carbonyl's pi electrons are pushed up onto the oxygen, which may then be protonated in acid. And this nitrogen becomes deprotonated to neutralize its charge. The oxygen is protonated again to make it a good leaving group. A hydrogen is abstracted from this nitrogen, allowing its electrons to form a double bond with carbon. This bumps off the water group, leaving us with an imine. Adding a hot base, like sodium hydroxide, removes one of these hydrogens, allowing the electrons to quickly form a double bond with the other nitrogen, thereby neutralizing the nitrogen's negative charge. But this gives the other nitrogen a positive charge, which it neutralizes by giving these pi electrons to the carbon. The carb anion is protonated by water. The base then abstracts nitrogen's remaining proton, forcing the nitrogen to drop those electrons into a triple bond. The other nitrogen, left once again with a positive charge, breaks free from the carbon, giving the bond electrons to the carbon, which may subsequently be used to draw in a proton. We are left with nitrogen gas and our original carbon chain, minus the carbonyl. So the mechanism for the Wolf-Kishner reduction is pretty involved. Rather than memorize it, just remember what the reduction accomplishes. It takes this and replaces it with this.